Hello guys, yesterday a patient uh, admitted to the emergency ward in our hospital uh, after following road traffic accident. He was hit on his left head uh, with a motorbike and after clinical examination we found uh, that the, he, he has a total, total right sided hemiparesis and after doing a CT scan we found there is a there is a mark swelling over the left sided scalp region on that section right in the CT scan and also little bit a uh, hypodense area and left and right sided lateral ventricle quite looking normal uh, to that section just uh, just just little bit above that section you can also find there is a, a hyperdense area white sided hyperdense area okay and also to visualize there is a mark lip sided scalp swelling and the ventricle and the two hemisphere looking normal at that section on that section you can also find just simply swelling over the scalp uh, in this section you, you also find there is a uh, left sided scalp swelling uh, in this section Uh, two hemisphere quite looking normal uh, in this section you just find there is a there is a fracture on the left side it here is the fracture and also also the fracture swing on that section Here you can see uh, there is a uh, fracture over the scalp region in the CT scan and also the same thing there is a swelling over the left sided scalp region is a diffuse swelling over the left sided scalp region to and also some certain extent you can also find there is a there is a hyperdense area over the left sided brain it's most probably the hemorrhagic hyperdense blood you can see on this section uh, on this section you can see there is a marking over the uh, CT scan there is a uh, there is a localized hyperdense area uh, to further evolution we perform a MRI of that patient and in MRI you can see there is a mark white is hyperdense opacity over the left sided region along with the swelling over the left sided scalp in the MRI section you can see also the same hyperdense area and the swelling over the scalp and also you can see there is a hyperdense hemorrhagic blood on that superior portion of the brain and cerebellum is quite looking normal
and from the posterior aspect from the posterior aspect uh, the cerebral hemisphere and the cerebellum look quite looking normal so eyeball and the optic nerve is also looking normal not seeing any pathology over that area 